Last we saw our heroes, they were busy growing the Seinfeld Law Firm with George having landed a huge new client. Unfortunately, Teddy Banya was caught in an awkward moment, though, and asked to leave in one of the show's more exciting moments on Brock Romanek today on Zippy Point. The Seinfeld Law Firm, this is seven. No, Mr. Banya doesn't work here anymore. Thank you. Hey, George, Fred called and asked about his bylaws or something. Lady Georgina, to you, why would Mr. Vandelay be calling you and not me? After all, he's my client. I brought him in. Listen, George, I mean Lady Georgina, we appreciate you landing Vandelay Industries, but we are all working for them. It's our biggest client and they want to go public as soon as possible. We need those charter and bylaw changes today. Well, be that as it may, it's my client and he already has my changes. I'll give Mr. V a call. Well, hello, Lady Georgina. Yes, please hold for Mr. Vandelay. Go for Vandelay. Well, hello, Mr. Vandelay, I heard you called. Yes, I was going over the changes you sent earlier and I'm a little confused. It looks like you've changed it so a director can be removed only for cause. I'm of the mind to throw a director off the board anytime I see fit. I still finally remember throwing your dad off the board not that long ago, that old bastard in his silly holidays, Festivus. Hoochie Mama, he's driving the board crazy with the Hoochie Mama this, Hoochie Mama that. <laughs> Give me a break. Hoochie Mama is right. Festivus is certainly not a real holiday. But alas, that change is necessary if Vandalay Industries is going public. Vandalay Industries will now be incorporated in the state of Delaware and Delaware law, as well as the Model Business Corporation Act, provide that the shareholders, not the board of directors, has the power to appoint and remove directors. Well, then how are we going to move directors? Well, in most cases, the board's nominating governance committee will need to monitor the performance of their fellow directors through an annual board evaluation process and decide whether to renominate them when their term expires. Each director, as we have it set up, will serve for a one-year term, so that's your safety valve. No other options here? Other than convincing the director you want out to resign, I'm afraid not. In extreme cases, there could be a court-ordered removal. and But for that, we're talking about that director engaging in some fraud or some type of crime, really, for a judge to agree to that. Extreme circumstances. Or there could be a special meeting of shareholders called to accomplish that. But that's not, that's not a viable option, really. It's an extreme, too. Why is that an extreme... It's expensive. It also signals to shareholders that something's afoot. A lot of questions would be asked because that kind of special shareholders meeting is extremely rare, and that would not be good for Vendelay Industries' stock price. Okay, okay. Hey, I heard about Banya crazy, that intemperate fool. <laughs> Indeed a fool he was. Yes. Yes, Hoochie Mama, I'll talk to you later. And scene, let me know what you think.